afternoon everyone another little French holiday history ex exploration video so we're not far from the village where we're staying Cusac Bernaval uh, this is on the outskirts of another village called oh god I can never remember how you say it now uh, La Roche La Belle something like that and there is a stone age or like prehistoric Dolmen, which is kind of like a kind of like a, a stone, you know, like a megalithic portal. So it's you know sort of three or four upright stones with like a capstone on top as like a roof. You've probably seen loads of them, like Kit's Coty House, stuff like that. So this one is actually on like a private farmer's field, even though there's signposts directing you to it. I had to crawl under a, an electric fence, so. I don't really know if there's a way in, but anyway, we're here now. It took us a while to find it. Not a hell of a lot to see. Yeah, I've got to use your imagination a bit, but you know, I think it's pretty cool. So I dragged my mum and my aunt here, and they're probably going to be pissed off with me, thinking it's just some stones, Tom, you know. But I think it's amazing, and here we are. Excellent. So... What I'll do is I'll get some shots of it and stuff and I'll tell you a little bit about it. What I know, that is. There might not be a lot of information on it. Still, it's pretty cool though. A dolmen is a type of single chamber megalithic tomb, usually consisting of two or more vertical megaliths supporting a large flat horizontal capstone or table. Most date from the early Neolithic, 4000 to 3000 BC and were sometimes covered with earth or smaller stones to form a tumulus. Small pad stones may be wedged between the cap and supporting stones to achieve a level appearance. In many instances the covering has weathered away, leaving only the stone skeleton of the mound intact. It remains unclear when, why and by whom the earliest dolmens were made. The oldest known are found in Western Europe dating from around 7,000 years ago. Archaeologists still do not know who erected these dolmens, which makes it difficult to know why they did it. They are generally all regarded as tombs or burial chambers, despite the absence of clear evidence for this. Human remains, sometimes accompanied by artefacts, have been found in or close to the dolmens, which could be scientifically dated using radiocarbon dating. However, it has been impossible to prove that these remains date from the time when the stones were originally set in place. The dolmen is made of a local granite table, irregularly shaped and slightly oval, and is supported by five pillars with a height ranging between one metre and one and a half metres, except the fifth, which is only 50 centimetres. A legend tells that three shepherds carried the stones that support the table, one of them was lame and could only carry a smaller stone, hence the slope of the monument. So it was worth the look, I thought, anyway. My mum and my aunt sodded off, they just went, nah. So uh, my mum even just went, doesn't look that old. <laughs> I was like, come on, like, where do you see architecture like that? Welcome back. We're in the tiny little village, which I think is a commune, and it's called La Roche La Belle. And it's about eight miles from Cusac uh, Bonneval, which is where we're staying in the cottage. And that's also where the Chateau de Bonneval is as well. So yeah, it's not far away. Uh, we've just visited the Neolithic Dolmen, uh, just on the outskirts of the Roche uh, Labelle. Yeah, we're gonna just have a, a wander around the village, maybe see if this church here is open 
there's a bar, restaurant, tabac, le, le, le vieux chateau. <laughs> so, yeah, it might be open. I mean, it's the hottest part of the day at the moment, so it's like between 12 and 4, I think. They do bugger all round here. They, all the shops shut and everyone just retreats inside and gets out of the heat and has like a siesta, a bit of a rest, which is quite cool really. Um, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. Anyways, let's have a little wander. Right, you know the school. Let's go through that door. Have a little look in here, shall we? The parish church of La roche la Vallée includes three bays and dates from the 13th century. It is gothic in style and houses a 14th century serpentine statue of the Virgin and Child. The windows, forming a set of eight windows in total, are dated from the 19th century. Those of the choir are dedicated to the Virgin, patroness of the parish, St Joseph and St Peter. The two windows of the transepts are dedicated to the Virgin and St John the Evangelist. Finally, the bays of the tribune represent St Louis, St Andrew and Joan of Arc. The site of La roche la Vallée was frequented since prehistoric times as evidenced by the dolmen of Pierre Levey. The Gallo-Romans settled there. In the Middle Ages the town was dominated by an imposing castle belonging to the Comtale family of Cars. Taken by the English it was abandoned and the last vestiges left in the 19th century. An important historical event took place there in 1569. The armies of the Catholic Duke of Anjou and the armies of Protestant Henry of Navarre, who was the future Henry IV, were fighting in battle. According to legend, a swarm of bees, abiles, put the belligerents to flight and so the commune got its name. La Roche la Ballet means in English, the rock of the bees. 
this little structure here looks like it was once the old well of the village so you've got the beam here turning the water there we go still moves and quite a long drop down there <laughs> that's long since uh, ceased being of use there's this little uh, bar restaurant here might see if it's open there's the church Leglies uh, Mary I think that's the town hall there I think that's what Mary means in French it's got the flags outside yeah hope you enjoyed the video cheers for watching stay tuned for more of my French adventures sounds a little bit dirty but you know what I mean anyway my French holiday anyway guys thanks for watching thanks for the support see you again soon bye or au revoir